So now, yeah. interview Standard Bank, one of oh, one of the best, top yeah. of the top. Yeah. You the start the, 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 I, I really want us to detail yeah. the process sure. of um, that interview, not interview, but the process of obtaining the job from Standard Bank. Sure. So you apply. So it be yeah. So it begins with you going to the Standard Bank website. Okay. You go to Standard Bank careers and yeah. you look for the job that you're looking for or that you want. Yeah. Uh, or the ones that you actually can. Um, ones yeah, who qualify. Qualify. For, yeah. That's the way it right. And you apply. Right. Yeah. You put your things, you make sure your CV is of standard. Research about CVs, mm -hmm. the latest CVs, because remember there's scans, there's all that stuff that yeah. companies use to eliminate when there's a lot of applicants. Right? Make sure you have your CV is standard. Yeah. Um, eliminate any errors on your CV. You upload your CV and everything. And then obviously you're gonna get the email saying that okay you're going to the interview stages. Yeah, interview. You pass that. Mm. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then interviews, it's gonna be the most interesting interview ever. They are not gonna ask you questions like how do you work in a team. You are actually gonna work in a team to solve something. Yeah, so that's the okay. most interesting okay. thing. You are gonna be given um, a project to go research on, and then you are gonna come back and present on them so, so it's not a one day type of interview it's a one day thing it's a whole day thing oh, it's a whole day thing yeah? yeah so the interview is in the morning the presentations in the afternoon okay or if they want to change it presentations in the morning interviews in the afternoon but what they want to know they will get it in that group discussion thing slash interview that they're gonna do with you right okay. you do like three things in one day so that's the most interesting thing about it right they will yes, decide didn't know mm, yeah so when you go in there you need to present yourself as best as you can because you have managers that are watching that thing yeah at that time i didn't know but so no, when you're saying they're watching the thing you mean you are not all of you are on the team's call or something of the yeah nature, right? they're in the team's call they joined they okay. they all get in, invited the sponsors so you get so at standard bank you you get to rotate right i would get to that but those sponsors are sponsored the rotation so that help with the rotations mm -hmm. they are there to interview you okay. so by the time you get to their um, to whole day yeah by the time you 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 go there to to rotate in that team they already you hear you. someone saying oh i was in your interview no and then you're like oh yes actually <laughs> right Shoot. yeah so when you present yourself present yourself as best as you can yeah um you don't have to have like higher grade english maybe if you've been listening here i don't have that um and it but then you need to just you know Present, present yourself, yourself. As you can. yeah e even if it's a group discussion be formal treat it as if you are already working in that company mm. right going back to the point of you taking whatever job before, before getting your, getting your, your dream, dream job, job right job, yeah. um it helps you with those things you start to understand how office works how you need to speak yeah. at the office right um because you find that maybe you're not being professional it's just like saying ah jen so what's happening yeah, here, well, right? what's happening yeah, what's, what's happening, what's happening? <laughs> they are there some some serious people are there they're like ah, this one is playing yeah, five yeah. over hundreds or whatever marking system, system they use right and then you go to an interview it's a very quick and easy interview or oh, like yeah it's just them now trying to get a few things because yeah, yeah, yeah. you've already done a lot yeah, they already right? seen you mm. and you also need to like you know when they made us do presentations i had i i, I had done presentations at all yeah, yeah and it helped me understand things like company colors Mm. using the company logo in the presentations writing your slides in a certain way yeah and i learned that because i took that that job at yeah, yeah, yeah. um old yeah yeah and had nothing to do with mm. that but it taught me all those things about professionalism yeah. and they were marking all of those things so you you move from there it maybe becomes quiet for a few weeks or so and then 
psychometric test. They start oh, telling you a psychometric test. I hate those So tests. you get your personality test, your maths test, your um, what else? Some other tests that they do uh, that I don't think I can disclose at the moment, but yeah. it's part of it. Um, and yeah, I think you get about three to four, five tests mm. around that. You got your vapor um, test, your numerical reasoning, those kinds of things. So my advice is once a company tells you you're going to write a psychometric test, go online, search psychometric tests. Yeah. Right. They are free psychometric tests yeah. websites that you can use to practice with. Yeah. I use them some, and sometimes they give you guidance in terms of how you, yeah, especially with the personality one, right? The yeah. behavior and what's not. You you tend to to maybe be risk averse, and instead of maybe saying um, out of ten, nine, yeah. you put seven, six, five, right? Yeah. Those questions where they're like um, on on a scale of one to ten, mm. how well do you know this, and then they yeah. or how well do you resonate resonate with the statement? Yeah. Make sure that you, if if you really know that thing or it really, really resonate with it, put a ten or a okay. nine. Yeah. Because it 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 sort of like um dials down your response at the end or the report that they generate. Okay. So it I learned those things through those psychometric tests to say. Yeah. Your numerical reasoning is like seven over ten. You're not really strong with math. Yeah. At that time, I have a degree in math. Yeah. Cool. But because I was putting seven, seven eight, eight six, you don't want to be like yeah, too cocky. Yeah, you think that you're going to be too cocky, but that's what will make you pass that thing okay. from what I've gathered. Another thing I wanted mm. to mention as right, you're talking about sure. this, there is um, like the personality test. Sure. Go online. Mm. I forgot the name because we did it at a migrant program. Sure. There is a, there is a test online that, that give you multiple questions. Sure. And they give you a, a, a what is this? Um, you mark it for yourself. Yeah. Then it shows what type of person you are. It's either you are, uh, what is this? Um, uh, an agitated person. You mm. are shy person. Yeah. You are yeah. a confident person. Yeah. yeah. And why I'm mentioning this is that companies have company cultures yeah so some companies are competitive companies yeah. they are looking for someone who's competitive mm. some some companies require people that are compromising yeah that's a words that i use there yeah they require those people some people uh, some companies have um, an agile like an agile approach to things yeah. so they want someone who is uh, compromising and high pace uh, some and intelligent things of that nature so once you understand the company culture of wherever you are getting that, yeah. uh, I'm not saying nigh, but it's in your best interest to align with the company culture as you are giving the response, sure. the responses. So if you did it online and you did, you have that paper of yours or you have that report, you see it's okay. If I click this mm -hmm. because it raises you, yeah. you click, you click this, okay, the, yeah. and it says okay, how many, um, how many ticks do you have under this column of sure. being maybe uh, compatible mm -hmm. then you click out of 20 you said okay i had seven yeah. you can write seven out of uh this column of being compromising how many you have eight yeah. so now oh maybe you have two mm -hmm. so now they say okay you are a competitive person but you don't compromise mm -hmm. so it's going to be hard for you to work in a team sure. if the nature of the company requires you yeah. to work in hand to hand with other people yeah. and it requires you to be competitive you to be compromising at all times yeah it might affect you if oh, yeah. you're only Great if you like only have two yeah because if your personality doesn't resonate with that you're out you are out. which is why we shouldn't take lightly that question that we usually ask about culture in, in companies when we've been interviewed when yeah. you say what is the culture like yeah. really try and understand what they are looking they are for looking based for. on what they describe or yeah. how they describe the culture yeah in, in, in it's the and, and in, if you look into company websites mm. and you look at companies on linkedin yeah. you can somehow tell of what their culture is mm. like there is a, a motto in which they use in my company like they, we don't take ourselves seriously we take what we do seriously yeah by that you can see where they are going mm. You can see where they are going with that, and they do tell you about the company. Like yeah. You read it about, 
you go to LinkedIn, you see their child and all sure. and what they are another thing. Yeah. Go on LinkedIn, yeah. search the company, yeah. search the CIOs of or the CIOs or the managers mm -hmm. of whatever department you want to get yeah. in, whatever thing you want to do. Yeah. See what they are interested in. That my company is interested in AI. So yeah. on LinkedIn they are posting about AI. Yeah. You cannot be going to a company that is looking for DevOps engineers. Yeah. Like and it, everything they talk about on LinkedIn is like DevOps, DevOps, DevOps. Yeah. You don't know. I ask you about DevOps, you don't know. Mm. I ask another person, he tells me everything. Yeah. The, life, the life cycle of a system, yeah. all of that. Yeah. Who do you think I'm taking? Those little things when you go into an interview don't yeah. matter, guys. Yeah. It's not about just how you, you, you speak English. Okay, I can speak English like, yes, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I can say so. And still, not take, be taken. Mm. So, yeah. Where are we now? Nah, we're at the same from I do talk a lot. Yeah. Um, that's uh, I think that's how forecast should be, right? You yeah. Know, should, um, <laughs> Engaging. And, and yeah, and I mean this is supposed to be informative to someone who's trying to get into this career. So yeah, as much as we can tell them. Um so at we had psychometric tests, but I just remembered at in the interview, mm. you do a lot of those things, right? But don't forget your data science basics. Yeah. Right. Don't forget what um what a linear regression is. Yeah. How do you use a regression model? Mm -hmm. Um what is your classification model? What's the difference between the two? What yeah. is cross validation used for? Um what are neural networks? Maybe yeah. you've never worked with deep learning uh, methods or um what's this? Uh Okay, I forgot the name, but it's fine. Deep neural networks. Models. models. I wanted to say models. Okay. Yeah. So those kinds of things, right? And also, do not forget um, to just research about all the ki other kinds of models. How are, can they be useful in the industry that you're you going to? Go into, yeah. Very important that one, because they want to know what is it that you think you can do to change the world where we are, mm -hmm. right? And they want to know, do you really have a mindset of working in this environment? Or are you just looking for a yeah. job? Yeah. You just have to lie. Yeah. <laughs> I think my manager told me. Mm. She said, uh, my great program manager said, yeah. every day, like I, I, I couldn't do it every day, but yeah, you will get the point in a long time. Mm. Every day, write something. She had something called the one person chart. Sure. Uh, every day, write something that you did. Yeah. And write how it adds value to the company. Yeah. So the key thing is, mm. are you adding value to us? Yeah. So you need to understand that we are not just hiring people here. Yeah. We need people with the understanding of the business and how business incorporates what they are doing yeah. or how they integrate to business yeah. and add value to us. Yeah. That's important, guys. That's true. That's true. Um, speaking of value. Um, one of the great great program managers always emphasizes that from the get go, um, ask yourself what value have you added to the business. It doesn't matter how many models you've built, right? You could have built fifty five models in a year. How many have been implemented in the business? Because mm -hmm. you building those fifty five models helps you understand how this whole coding works, yeah. how these models work, yeah. right? But how is that? giving the business profit, how yeah. are they profiting from it, mm. right? Um, they can't be giving you a take home of uh, say 700 grand, right, yeah. a year. Um, and then you are not giving them the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. You, you are just building a model, but it gets rejected by the people who are supposed well, to supposed use to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you don't understand mm. that your cause technically they are your customers yeah you are selling something yeah and what we are saying imagine this you create uh, a car for people in the countryside mm. but you create a sport car mm. see you created a, a car but for us in the countryside you can't really use it because yeah. We don't have tire roads and mm. if you know sport cars they are very close to the ground yeah. Yeah. So now you're not adding value to us. Mm. You are just developing cars. Yeah. Same thing with models. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's um that's a good example. Um so from there, 
we wait it. They will have the waiting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that then okay. after the psychometric test, okay. right. Did they tell you you passed before, after you finish it, or what happened? Did they so give you an exam? No. Uh, apparently, what they need to do is to tally because um, they need to tally everything okay. together and then get oh, a score okay. and one score. Profile. So that's I think that's where they decide whether they're taking you or not yeah. like yeah. over yeah. the other people. So from there, we went to obviously the stage of waiting. Now we're waiting for the acceptance letters or rejection letters, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think in October, I got that call, said that I got the job. And they, you know, when they told me I got the job, yeah. I, when they were talking about the salary package and all that stuff, yeah. I was not listening. Yeah, yeah well, you, you me, just I like, was signed. I got a job. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I was still working at Old Mutual at this at time. At that time, yeah, I was working at Old Mutual okay. and the contract was about to come to an end, right? right. But it was still like October, so the contract was going to end January. Oh, end okay, of January. Okay, okay. Sure. So I was just over the moon, man. I, I was ready for them to to end the call so I can start jumping. That yeah, was the yeah, only I'm, thing. Like I'm, my head was yeah. just over the moon, my guy, right? Mm. And I I thanked them and we finished that conversation. There's a lot of use there. Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah, no, they, yeah, it was a contract, something, no. something that they included in that I was gonna say yes and they were gonna go. And then the meeting with HR and they're busy sure. explaining things to you. And mm. they're like, okay, like how much am I earning? Mm. After deduction? Oh, you don't even think about deductions. It's like how much yeah, am I earning? Exactly. Cool. Yeah. I'm assigned. Anyway, sure. so I am going to sign. Mm. Oh, do you have any objections or anything? No. no. Yeah. Sign that. Mm. It's not like you're going to change. Exactly. Sign. Exactly. Me, I was ready to take whatever they said they mm. or the estimate of sorts and just divide it yeah. by twelve, right? And see what and see what, what they, I'm getting. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is what I'm getting. Yeah. Mm. What are they talking about? Yeah, right? coming from a leadership. Mm. So I'm on the list now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to leave. Uh, <laughs> I'm even going to Johannesburg. Oh, you I had to had, move. Yes, because oh, uh, I had to move again. So I've been in KZN, uh, Western Cape, and Houting. That's those are the places no, yeah, yeah. that I've made my stones at. Right. Um, from. Oh, from then until uh, coming to Standard Bank, right? It was me now, um, just working for the sake of working. <laughs> but I knew yeah, I'm now out I'm of here. I'm <laughs> now. Yeah, now I'm late. I knew I was out of here, right? Yeah. But um, I, to my surprise, my manager at Old Mutual, um, so one of the the people who were working in the team, yeah, got um, got a job in the main Old Mutual Group, okay. right? So they were going to leave the group, the yeah. team, and they were like a junior. Yeah. So a junior level position opened up. Oh, okay. And when that position opened up, my manager that yeah, of yeah. that time called me and was like, hey, there's a job here. Yeah. Um, and then they when said, stars alive. Yeah. And then they said the numbers. Uh, I was like, no, those yeah. numbers don't work for me. Yeah. I've already been taken Not some now. Times, right? <laughs> And yeah. she asked me, what are the numbers looking that side? I said, yeah, was, yeah. I told her and she was like, oh, okay. Yeah, we don't need to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we're we're it's, fine, it's fine, man. It's fine, yeah. So from then, because she knew that I was going, we started having those handovers, me handing over if, everything that I was doing. Because I was also doing like service reports, yeah. right, that were going to like, um, the stakeholders. yeah, the stakeholders and this uh, CEOs and what's not right yeah. so they were like hey, bra, yeah yeah I, hand yeah, over yeah. your things it was nice us. it was nice meeting you mm, yeah um, and then I think they hired someone I remember someone joined right before I left and yeah. I had to hand over everything to them and then Jobek oh now we are in Jobek yeah. uh starting a new job at Standard Bank yeah